Cordell, yeah. I, uh, uh, he moved out to Montana, and but we still want to build a partnership with the Cliff. Um, they are doing great things with young adults, and uh, so Brian is actually going to come up and spend a couple minutes talking about the Cliff and giving you information in which they have a banquet coming up. So I'll call Brian up now. We all know Brian very well as well. He is on the board at the Cliff, and so he's just going to give some background and talk about how we may partner with the Cliff. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Real quick, at least before Shane just made that announcement, how many of you have actually heard about what the Cliff Center is and where it's at? If you know what it is and where it's at, raise your hand. Okay, that's pretty good. Did my wife raise her hand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's I supposed to? <laughs> we'll just go from there. Uh, before I get started, I do have a scripture that I always share uh, before I present the ministry. Matthew 9, 37 through 38. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out his workers into his harvest field. Folks, many, many, many years ago, uh, Central PA Youth for Christ uh, started their footprint of ministry in this area, serving Columbia County, reaching young people, teenagers, about the message of Jesus Christ. And throughout the years, with different ministry people that have come and gone, a young couple by the name of Mike and Bonnie Spaniola, which I'm sure some of you remember because he first started in this church when they came here, took over the ministry and had moved to West Berwick to live. And in their neighborhood with this seedy bar, it was just a black guy in the neighborhood. It was called Yogi's Bar. If you remember Yogi's Bar? Kind of nod and smile a little bit. And it was sad to be in that neighborhood every day where the kids would walk back and forth to the bus stops and they would be in front of this bar with a lot of people who were just not representing the humankind this way they should. And they started praying, Lord, take this. Take this eyesore, take this dark spot from our community. And a vision became a reality when at some point that bar had closed. And the ministry and Mike and Bonnie prayed about it and they purchased that building. And they converted that building into a youth center. 25 years ago, believe it or not, is when that youth center became, and over those 25 years, many, many teenagers have come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior. The love and support that Mike and Bonnie poured into that made that center happen. And when they left into another ministry, volunteers took over in the early 2000s to mid-2015-16, and as things started to dwindle a little bit, God provided Scott and Suzette Schreffler, who brought with them a vision of the Cliff Youth Center. Remind us that every day, teenagers come to those cliffs of life, and the choices they make will either plunge them off the cliff, or if they see what Christ can bring them that would bridge that, that perilous fall, and bring them to a safe spot. And Scott and Suzette poured their life into the cliff. And it became stronger again. And when Scott and Suzette left, they left it in good hands with the volunteers, Bill and Laura Moray, who have continued to serve that ministry. And folks, the last several years, we've been seeing an influx of junior high kids, fifth and sixth graders and seventh graders, that each week get picked up by our van and brought to our center. And they come there hungry. Not just for the food of Christ, but they come there hungry. We feed them. We have a network support of ladies like Wendy back there and my mother-in-law who come in and cook, but also churches and individuals who give food, who bring meals. And it's been great to see. Not only are they fed that food, they are fed the spiritual food of Christ. And as we continue to look forward, there's been a great blessing bestowed upon the Cliff Youth Center. And for many, many years, it's been under the leadership of Central PA Youth Ministries. Their demographics have changed the last few years, and the ministries that they're serving, they approach Kanawissa Christian Church, where currently Mike and Bonnie serve as pastors. And they said, would you be interested in at least taking the building and all of its assets for free, and just be the guide to them for the future? And Kanawissa accepted. But the goal is for the cliff to become its own independent 501c3. 
Folks, this could never happen with that network of supporters who've been faithful through all those years with prayer and financial support. I brought to you today as you leave uh, a billboard of photographs to see the kids, to see firsthand what the ministry is reaching and the volunteers. There's brochures, some of you were handed brochures, you've come in today. But there's also an invitation from us, October 22nd, in a few weeks. We have our annual fundraising banquet at NC Church, where people come, they get fed a good meal, but they see, because we try to bring as many teens as we can to help, but they'll hear testimonies, and they'll see what all those prayers and all that support is doing. It's reaching young people. Folks, thank you for always being an encouragement to the Cliff Youth Center. If you have any questions, Amy and I are going to stick around afterwards. We'd love to have you pick up an invitation, maybe bring some friends, come to the meal, hear about the ministry, whatever you can do to support. We are grateful. Let's all be faithful and continue to serve Christ. Thank you for your time. All right. Uh, I am going to go through announcements. Oh, yeah, there we go.